hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how the hydrocarbons and crude oil can be separated by fractional distillation. You should then be able to state the functions of the important fractions. Over the last couple of videos we've seen that crude oil is a mixture of molecules called hydrocarbons. Each hydrocarbon has a different boiling point. Longer chain hydrocarbons have a higher boiling point than shorter chains. Now, in order for the hydrocarbons in crude oil to be useful, we've got to separate them. And to do that, we use a technique called fractional distillation. In fractional distillation, crude oil is separated into fractions, and fractions contain hydrocarbons with a similar number of carbon atoms. Now, it's really important that you learn the stages of fractional distillation. This often comes up as an exam question. Fractional distillation takes place in very large columns, such as these ones which we find in oil refineries. I'm showing you a drawing of this here. Firstly, the crude oil is heated to a very high temperature. This causes the crude oil to boil. In other words, all of the hydrocarbons evaporate and turn to a gas. The crude oil vapor is now fed into the fractional distillation column. The column's hotter at the bottom and cooler at the top. The hydrocarbon vapors now rise up the column. Hydrocarbons condense when they reach their boiling point. In other words, they turn back to a liquid, and the liquid fractions are then removed. The remaining hydrocarbons continue moving up the column. These now condense when they reach their boiling points. Now, there are a couple of further points that you need to learn. Very long chain hydrocarbons have got very high boiling points. These hydrocarbons are removed from the bottom of the column. Very short chain hydrocarbons have got very low boiling points, and these do not condense. They're removed from the top of the column as gases. Now, as we said, fractional distillation produces fractions. These contain hydrocarbons with a similar number of carbon atoms. Some fractions are used as fuels, and I'm showing you some examples here. Petrol and diesel are used to fuel cars. Kerosene is used as jet fuel. Heavy fuel oil is used to power ships and liquefied petroleum gas is used in camping stoves. And we looked at how hydrocarbons are used as fuels in the last video. Now some fractions are used as feedstock for the petrochemical industry. And the word feedstock means a chemical that's used to make other chemicals. And I'm showing you some of these here. So feedstock fractions are used to make solvents, lubricants, detergents and polymers. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on fractional distillation in my vision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above.